This is Dormouse 03, continuing my Max Payne 3 old school difficulty walkthrough, and this is part 2 of chapter 7. So I'm starting off right here. Uh, you hit a checkpoint right in as you uh, came into this room and hit this wall. And uh, I don't like this section a lot just because I don't necessarily enjoy the the sniper rifles in this game because my control scheme uh, I just can't make it to my liking um, and I've tried uh, messing with the the controls and um, because the way that I have my my controller set up um, when I go into this into the zoom on the sniper rifle, it makes it so that the left thumbstick controls the aiming and the right thumbstick zooms in and out. And um, I don't like that. Uh, and what I also don't like is uh, when I tried to mess with it and change it, I turned southpaw on um, and that made it so that the, the right thumbstick aims, but for some reason the right thumbstick both aims and zooms the camera in and out. And so that's weird too. Um, <laughs> so I just stuck to the regular old left thumbstick controlling the aim, and, um, was able to do well enough. But the thing that pisses me off about this section is, whenever you zoom in, you end up out of cover. So, uh, you have to remember to go back into cover every time after you, after you, uh, aim for whatever reason, and it does that most of the time when you're using these sniper rifles. Um, it does it again um, on chapter 11 or 12? Um, 12, I think. Um, actually. So, it's just, it's just an annoyance. Um, so you just have to remember to, to pop back into cover after you aim. Uh, but yeah, use, use bullet time, and what I do here, um, strategy-wise, is I use the trick of, um, blind firing in order to build up bullet time, because you do have quite a lot of ammunition on that, um, sniper rifle, so I blind fire it a little bit in order to, um, build up my bullet time and then use the bullet time so that I'm actually able to have enough time to aim the damn gun um, before I get shot up. So uh, right now I've taken out a fair amount of them even with the <laughs> my, uh, my difficulty aiming the stupid weapon. So um, there's a few more and now there is a guy that will come in from behind you but I believe the trick here is is that as long as you don't look at the door behind you and to your left, he will not come through. Um, so you want to take out as many of these guys as you can with the bullets that you have uh, before you turn around and mess with him. And so I rolled over there and picked up those painkillers because I needed them. And, um, and then right now I'm going to try to get into cover without getting shot by the people across the way and take care of these two guys. And there is an ammo box over to my right. Um, so there's an ammo box that you can pick up ammo for the, the sniper rifle. I'm going to pick up some for my other weapons right now. And um, that is really helpful because when I was playing through this before, I didn't realize that that ammo box was there and it made my bullets really scarce in this section because there are just a lot of guys that you have to take care of and so um, picking up more ammo is very very helpful um, and so now it looks like I've gotten all the people upstairs that I can see right now now there are a few uh, down here and so how I deal with this situation is um, is go over and hide behind this cover right here and it it's fairly uh, fairly good because you can see through it, but they don't. There's not a lot of spots where uh, they can get you very well, and a lot of times they'll do what this this fellow is is doing right now, and and rush over here and allow you to spray them in the face with your um, weapon of choice. The SMGs are good 
for doing that. So uh, another tricky part about this section is that um, there is no checkpoint <laughs> um, from the beginning of this video uh, until oh, after you kill these guys upstairs. And this part can be annoying because when you get up here, um, you have to kill these guys and you are at a disadvantage because you don't have any cover right now and um, they have a height advantage on you as you're coming up those stairs so you want to use your bullet time wisely to be able to clear them up I believe you can probably also trigger them to spawn and then run back up to the opposite balcony and that might help you take them out as well and now there are just a couple of guys left and you want to be careful going around this corner because you don't want to die right here at the end. So I shoot this guy and there's an explosive barrel right back in the corner <laughs> that I managed to hit and, uh, and blow up that last dude for a nice finish. So that is where you get a checkpoint and uh, until you get to that section it's all the way back to where you were sniping guys. So. Um, <laughs> take care of that as, as best you can and then go in here and grab the painkillers that uh, give you some all precious life and then you'll be moving on to the next area but that room can be a challenge so uh, try to stay in cover as much as possible uh, use that um, blind fire trick to build up your bullet time in order to uh, snipe as many guys as you can and don't forget about that ammo box to replenish your bullets um, so here we are into this next area and um, picking up another painkiller which is awesome Just running around looking for stuff, which is a good idea <laughs> at any time because uh, the more painkillers you can find, the better off you are. So this is a little exposition moment. There aren't any guys in these corridors. Um, it's mostly just Max talking. And uh, the next section, I believe, is going to be going through some buildings. So uh, it's an area where there's a lot of tight corners, which is good for being able to peek around them and um, it's not good in terms of getting damaged uh, so you want to be really careful as you're going through the the corridors of the buildings um, you want to know where people are and um, and take them out accordingly so um, you come down here, there's a little shrine to a Claudio <laughs> right there that you can look at uh, for one of the clues. And then here, here's the part getting into the building. So right now I'm trying to uh, shoot an explosive barrel over there. And I, I don't seem to be able to hit it, but now I can see the thing. And take out those guys and that uh, helps out a lot <laughs> so when you can take advantage of those explosive barrels do so uh, and then there's gonna be a guy hiding in that room right there and he has a shotgun so he will tear the shit out of you um, <laughs> so be careful of him make sure that you um, are aware of where he is and there's a painkiller right there that he conveniently left for you so now you're going to be going through the buildings, um, and I think there's a dude with a shotgun right when you go through this door, so um, be careful of him. And you can sort of knock open the door and, um, <laughs> and shoot through it like that, so um, do that. Grab the painkiller over here, and then, uh, as I said, just be real careful going through these these buildings because um, you don't get a checkpoint through these buildings here um, so there's another guy over there but I can't see him real well so I move 
in order to take him out. And he just won't die. A boot sponge. So, yep, pick up ammo. Make sure you got the painkillers. Yep, they don't reappear. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and then just be really careful when you get near windows, when you get near doors. Guys will burst out of the doors. So, you just want to be playing really cautiously in, in these... Um, in these narrow uh, buildings and hallways because uh, these gang members aren't super accurate but they don't really have to be when you're in these close quarters and a lot of them have shotguns so uh, they can do a lot of damage to you if you uh, get close so yeah that guy had a sawn off shotgun and he would have hurt me a lot if I hadn't taken him out there aren't very many um, things in these little shacks. Um, so if you're looking for painkillers, there there aren't going to be very many right there. But yeah, tentatively make your way through because just like that guy did, they will pop out of uh, these various rooms. And see, he had another shotgun. And uh, yep, you don't want to get hit by that. So just be really cautious when you're going through. You can shoot the doors just like that um, to open them and reveal anybody that might be behind. And uh, right now I'm going to attempt to shoot some guys through this window and be sort of sneaky, but um, it doesn't work out really well because it seems like they can see me a whole lot better than I can see them uh, because there's just too much window frame and beams and uh, wall and ceiling in my way. So I managed to get that one guy, but not before getting hurt <laughs> kind of a lot. And uh, and I can't seem to see the other dude. Um, so I pop one of my painkillers and then run out this way. And I, I didn't really mean to shoot Dodge, but it was effective in getting me out of the <laughs> sights of that guy. <laughs> So you clean him up, and he's the last guy, even though there is no, um, there is no kill cam uh, in this area. You will hit a checkpoint as soon as you go up into this next section, so, um, that is the end of this video. Uh, we'll continue on with this chapter in the next one, and, uh, thanks for watching. See you in the last section.